Hi everyone and welcome. It's wonderful to see you all here today with me on Storytime 365. My name is Barbara and with Easter coming soon, today's story is called Betty Bunny Loves Easter. Did you know that egg dyes were once made out of natural items such as onion skin, tree bark, flower petals, and juices? If you're looking for a natural way to dye your Easter eggs this year, you may want to consider trying out some of these natural ingredients. Today's story has been written by Michael B. Kaplan with illustrations by Stefan George. Betty Bunny was a handful. She knew this because on the night before Easter, she was hopping all around the kitchen handing eggs to her parents, her brothers, and her sister. And that's when everyone in her family said at once, Betty Bunny, you are a handful. Betty Bunny knew that being a handful must be very good because what could be bad about being excited about Easter? I love Easter, Betty Bunny announced. When I grow up, I'm going to be the Easter Bunny. You can't be the Easter Bunny, her brother Henry told her. Only the Easter Bunny can be the Easter Bunny, said her sister Kate. But you could grow up to be a weird bunny who runs around acting like the Easter Bunny, her older brother Bill added. No, Betty Bunny replied, I'm going to be the Easter Bunny. She knew she would be a great Easter Bunny because she loved coloring eggs, carrying baskets, and eating things made of chocolate that looked like her. She told her family that someday when she is the Easter Bunny, she will deliver baskets full of candy and toys, not just on Easter, but every day of the year. If every day is like Easter, her mother exclaimed, then it won't be special anymore. If every day is like Easter, Betty Bunny replied, then every day will be special. You'll see. The next day was Easter. After church, Betty Bunny and her family arrived at the neighborhood park for the big egg hunt. The egg hunt was Betty Bunny's favorite part of the day. She was practically hopping out of her fur with excitement. Betty Bunny's mother and father gave her a brand new basket. It was the biggest Easter basket she had ever had. This is a good size, Betty Bunny told them, struggling to lift it. I always find the most eggs, so I am sure I will fill this up. Betty Bunny took her basket and started to look. Kate nudged an egg with her toe. There's one, she said. Betty Bunny put it in her basket. Henry shook a branch. Betty Bunny looked over and saw that there was an egg beneath it. Looks like you found another, Henry said, as Betty Bunny put it in her basket. Bill picked up an egg and put it directly into Betty Bunny's basket. How do you do it, Bill asked, sounding impressed. Betty Bunny stopped looking for eggs. Why are you all helping me? She asked. We always help you. It's why you find so many eggs, Henry explained. I guess now you're just old enough to notice, Kate said. But we're not helping you that much, she added. Man, you are good at this, Bill said, dropping three more eggs into her basket. Stop it, Betty Bunny cried out. Easter is my favorite holiday. I'm going to be the Easter Bunny someday. I can find eggs by myself. I believe in you, said Kate. Cool, said Henry. Now I can go throw eggs into the basketball hoop with my friends. And I can go sit by the parking lot and play this egg hunt game on my phone, said Bill. Betty Bunny dumped out all of the eggs that her siblings had found. She took her empty basket and looked for eggs all by herself. She looked on the ground. She looked under rocks. She looked behind bushes. She even looked in the coat pocket of a lady who did not seem at all happy about it. 
she found one egg. All around her, kids were shouting, I found one, I found one more, I found another one. Betty Bunny did not find another one. She sat down on the ground and began to cry. Betty Bunny's mother and father came over and knelt down beside her. What's the matter? Her mother asked. I hate Easter, Betty Bunny cried. Easter is yucky. And she told her parents all about how this year she wanted to find eggs by herself, but only found one. I'm never going to be the Easter Bunny, she moaned. I'll just be a dentist. Teeth are always in the mouth where they're easy to find. Betty Bunny's father told her that he was very proud of her for wanting to find the eggs by herself. It meant that she was getting to be a big girl. Her mother was proud of her too. She told Betty Bunny that it doesn't matter how many eggs she finds. Any egg she finds by herself will mean so much more than eggs that someone else gives her. Betty Bunny nodded and wiped away her tears. Then she began looking for more eggs. She found one buried in the tall grass. She found another beside the swing set. She had three eggs in her giant basket. That was all she could find. But her mother was right. Those three eggs she found by herself meant more to her than any eggs she had ever had. Maybe when she grew up, she would be the Easter Bunny in the spring and a dentist the rest of the year. That afternoon, Betty Bunny's mother saw Betty Bunny going through her purse. Betty Bunny, she scolded, what are you doing in my purse? That is not okay. I need money to buy an even bigger basket for next year, Betty Bunny explained. Then you need to ask me, her mother replied. If I ask you, Betty Bunny said, You'll just give it to me. It means so much more if I find it myself. Thank you for joining me for today's story. I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to like and subscribe and hit the bell button so you receive notifications about new stories. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon for some more fun books. Until then, bye.